What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys some shit tips and shits on Winston. Um I mained Winston for this season and it started me up to top five hundred and I fell down a little bit due to the decay. But I've been asked a lot how I do so well, so I'm bringing you guys this video and there's gonna be numerous other parts to it, but I'm bringing you this video so hopefully you guys can learn something and get better. Winston does a low damage output. It's like 60 per second, right? So, knowing how to get your... the best damage out is probably the best thing to know. That didn't make sense, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm saying. And another thing people tend to think is punching with Winston is the best. I hear so many times, Yo, he was low, why didn't you punch him? Well, if I'm in punching range and I don't need to reload, why not? Shoot. Like, shoot him. I know that punching would finish him sooner, but the only times that I ever punch people is when they're one bar. Because if you look at it like this, he has eight bars of health. Each bar is 25 HP, so he has 200 health. If I get into one bar, he's at 25 health. Your punch is 30. That's the only time I'm in it. One of the old times, I should say, because the second best way, or the on, the best way to get your damage is Winston. You leap, do 50 damage with your leap, jump right before, or not jump, punch right before you land. I messed it up that time. But you want to leap up, and I'll show you here when these guys use one. Right. Leap up, punch, and then when you land, start shooting. It cancels the animation of the landing, and you're able to shoot instantly. Unfortunately. And then obviously when they one bar, you can punch them, and start reloading. So... I wasn't in range of that, but that would be the animation cancel. Just like that. I didn't hit him with it, but... Let me show you. I didn't, I didn't do it. I wasn't on him. Hmm. Survival of the fittest. Right there. That's the animation camp. It does 50 damage for you leap. And then 34 punch. And then you're able to follow up instantly with your shooting. And it saves a lot more time. Look, here, let's watch how much time it saves. No, you don't have to steal target, so I don't have to trip. Or don't have to worry about it. Compared to that, that's the animation chance look compared to this. You're able to shoot much faster if you do the animation. The next thing I want to move on to is your counters. Now, I get a lot of opinions about this, but in my, what I think is Reaper does not counter this. If you're good, you put your shield down and you dance in and out like this, or however, you just want to follow his movements and be in the bubble when he's not. It's gonna save you a lot, because, um, because he's hitting your bubble more often than he's hitting you. So... The only counters I feel are hit scans because they have long range, like Soldier or McCree. And McCree is very questionable. If they have a Zenyatta, most likely McCree is a counter. Uh, that's not as often. That's not as common, I mean, on console just because, you know, aiming is an issue for some. But on PC, if you are a PC player and watching this, that would be one of your counters. I feel great. Possibly. If they have a Barrier activated. Just because of the fact that, say if I'm right here, right? And that's my free. Now, my jump is on cooldown. I can't get to him. If he sees me, the only cover I have is in here, right? Well, he's gonna be watching for me. So I come out. Pretend he's still there. I come out, he's gonna be shooting me, right? I jump. He's still gonna be watching for me. And then I can try and bait out flashbang and shield it and all that. But you're gonna get flashed occasionally. 
And if you're discorded, you're kinda screwed. Cause headshots for free feels bad. Uh, but without a doubt, your biggest counter is Roadhog. He's pretty much counters any character, because you guys know the hooks and everything. Um, the only thing I have to say about fighting a Roadhog is if he's low and you want to challenge, you want to try and bait out his hook with your shield. And like, if you the second you see him, if you see him trying to hook, you want to throw down your shield and block it. But never challenge a Roadhog at full health. He takes if his healing is on off cooldown. If his healing is off cooldown, it takes approximately 19.5 seconds to kill him because he just self heal. That's without a pop. Now, 19 seconds in a fight is a long time. So he's obviously gonna have a mercy come to him or something. Like if he gets too low and his self heals down. Like, he's gonna get a mercy on him. Idle signs normalizing. So just avoiding Roadhog is, like, the biggest thing. So, the next thing, let's see. Unfortunate. Oh yes, the next thing. This is probably the last thing for this video, but I will be posting more about flames and stuff like that, like routes to take on maps, and these are just personal opinions. And Things I've seen, but it, uh, a lot of people don't realize this. So let's just do these guys both one bar. Alright. I've messed that up. You okay. okay. Let me change the sensitivity real fast. So I can do this better. Oh, I care. It's Winston. I'll have to. Alright. You hear the double hit markers? Your melee has a lingering hitbox. So if there's two targets around you, you can literally just do that. Survival of the fittest. Now that's not a Winston only trick, but that's a trick that I've learned and it's helped me because I've used to be insane and play like this. Do it real fast. And so I could just go like that and just kill people, like 180 and kill people. Regrettable. I consider violence a last resort. I'll just do that. Obviously, I'm not hitting them both because I'm just drug. But I would just do that and kill people because I haven't practiced that in a while with such low aims. So knowing that you can hit two people around you is really good because if there's, say, if there's like one person right here, right, and then say if there was a mercy behind you, one shot. There you go. Alt usage also trapping somebody in a corner or. Pushing people off. Where the map. Were we? I wasn't able to do it there, but just say I did. Another reason I would use my ult is that's in the escape. Let me try and grind it back. Right there. You see, like the whole melee thing, I even mess up the timing sometimes when they're one bar. Like sometimes you just make mistakes. Even the can animation cancel. Like, I mess up on that. Alright. So, say if I'm about to jump off the map, right? That's the only jumping off the map. Saving yourself. It's really good for that. And then if you time it right, so look, see, I just jumped. And I have another jump afterwards. Because Pardon once your ult ends, you get your jump back instantly. Pleb. Okay. So that's gonna end it for the this video. If you guys have any questions about what I said, I know most of you guys follow me on Twitter. 
So, I'll link my Twitter there in the description. If you guys want to follow me, go ahead. Coming through. But yeah, this is really the first episode to how to make this. I'll be posting more about routes and things like that. Going over who to focus. But this video was just to help people with the whole damage thing. Because I hear a lot of complaints about his damage, and I realize that it is very low. But he's also really good. If you're really good with him, it's hard to kill. By all means, I'm not the best. I wish I was. But. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Later.